hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i want to first of all thank every person who took their time and clicked the subscribe button i appreciate that very much it encourages me to keep sharing these videos I invest my time i do the research and bring you facts and not just a lot of irrelevant information in today's topic i'll be discussing on how to move to austria and live rent free yes this is legit this is correct and it's not a scam it has worked for so many other people and you could be the next one so let us dive in so the possibility of moving to austria and living rent free is through the program called the au pair what is an au pair an au pair is a foreign national between the age of 18 and 28 who stay with a host family and help with light household chores and child care so this is a young person who has some knowledge in german language that is the a1 level and who wants to deepen their knowledge in the german language and also learn about the culture in austria and the austrian society and in this case, you will get a host family in Austria, host you for a certain period of time. And in exchange, what you do for them are light house chores and childcare. What does this really mean? It means, for example, picking the children from school or kindergarten and or dropping off the child or children to the school or kindergarten, playing with the children, uh, cooking for the children, them to the park, drawing with them, for a person who's adventurous and active, this can be quite fun. What are the requirements for an au pair? As mentioned, you need to be between the age of 18 and 28. You need to have a knowledge of German language, that is A1 course. You need also to have confirmation written in German or English that you will improve your German language by living together with the host family. You have health insurance valid for your stay period or duration in Austria need a confirmation of proof that you don't have any criminal record you also must not have been an au pair in austria for longer than one year within the last five years you also need to be willing to pay for half of your german course while you're in austria while the family will pay for the other half how many hours do you work as an au pair per week for third world countries this entails 18 hours per week which includes a one day off and two days paid leave per month if you're coming from a third world country please make sure that your contract entails that you'll be working to 18 hours per week because if this is lesser than 18 hours per week it's possible that you will not be granted the residence permit the payment as an au pair as per now march 2024 is 518 euro 44 cents in Austria that is for the 18 hours per week the requirements and you're okay with the working hours and you're wondering how do you actually find the host family two possibilities one is through an agency and the second one is through websites like opairworld.com or opair.net if you choose to use an agency please do make sure that they have a license which allows them to work as a pair agency Otherwise, for Austria, you will not be granted the residence permit. This is very important. And if you're wondering which of the two websites to use, you can use both. However, most of the individuals that I have personally met who have worked here and or in Germany as au pairs, I know that they use the aupairworld.com. So my recommendation would be to check both of them and most especially the aupairworld.com. What are some of the requirements from the family? The family has to provide accommodation, food and drinks also on your off days, by the way. And the accommodation, they have to provide you your own separate room, which is lockable from the inside and the outside to ensure your privacy and privacy for your belongings. And they also have to agree to give you one day off during the week and two days of the paid leave per month. And in Austria, you will be registered under the Domestic Employment Act, SAU at IMS, which is the Rights Service in German, and in English, it's the Labor Market Service. You will actually need this confirmation also when you go to the embassy. The family has to pay for half of the German course, and you as an au pair will pay for the other half. Remember, you are coming to Austria 
the intention of deepening your German language skill. So it is crucial or it is important that you sign up for A2 German classes since you will already have the A1. I would recommend you to do so. Only has to pay for the statutory accident insurance. Even if you have your private health insurance, it is they are not exempt. In Austria, the family has to pay for the employee pension fund on behalf of the au pair. The au pair contract in Austria is valid for six months and it can be extended for another six months. A total of one year in Austria. And we will talk about the other possibilities or opportunities which you can do after the au pair in an extra video or you can ask me on my instagram i'm more active there so you have a host family and you're living with them what are the things which you mustn't do as an au pair you don't have to do the laundry for the parents and you don't have to cook for the entire household that is the parent but again this is negotiable you can always talk to the family and maybe you can agree on how to settle that if Mambo ni kujiongea, mambo ni kujiongea na mambo ni kusikizana. Have the requirements, you have the website and you are wondering well, how do I make my profile captivating? How do I make it more interesting? Be yourself. Think about things which make other people like you, your friends, your family. Maybe you have nieces, nephews. What are the things that make those children actually like you? So share interesting hobbies, but be reasonable, please. I mean, I myself am a parent. If I were to hire someone, I would really look if this is a responsible and reliable person who i can actually trust with the life of my child so for example don't list things like clubbing party after party you're not getting hired to work as a dj remember that you're getting hired to work and look after children so you have to show that you're responsible for example you have volunteered in a orphanage before children's home or volunteered at red cross you have looked after your neighbor's children you have looked after your younger siblings, your nephews, your nieces. These are things which you need to share and talk about. Change your lifestyle, really. Change your weekend from party to party. Start doing interesting things. Take photos, take videos, you know. Because I tell you, I've lived here for over 10 years and I can assure you 100% that people use weekends to do interesting things which are also good for their health and mental and physical state and then be able to share and be seen that they're responsible and reliable like for example my daughter goes to school and sometimes they take turns in class and they come home with a certain toy it's, it's like a stuffed animal really and you get the toy as a family one weekend and you have to look for interesting things because the child has to take pictures and write about what they actually did on friday saturday and sunday so take that toy everywhere and do different activities so that once you go back you will write and take pictures and put them in the book and show the other students what you actually did with that toy so this is very important they want to see that you are outgoing that you're interesting because they don't want to pay you and then you just sit with the children in front of a tv and only play cartoons i mean what is the reason of you being there then they like someone who's adventurous so you know like they have a lot of recreational parks here not really they take they value weekends they like to see that you're active and you do you have an interesting life you might have to change your weekends and do things which make you seem responsible and likable i mean i hope that you will be actually responsible when it comes to children and you will not just try to create this fake <laughs> image but you get my point play with the children do some puzzles maybe you know like they have to see that their children or child will learn different interesting things from you someone who is showing that they actually like their children so you have found a family and it's monday for example ask them how was your weekend what did you what did you do what did the kids do this is important your interest in the children ask about likes like what are what is their favorite food their favorite color their hobbies what do they like to do in their free time you know show that you're actually interested uh, in knowing the family and the children austrian people like someone who listens to them they like someone who shows interest in their life someone who they can actually rely on once you get family and they send you the contract please make sure that you respond promptly do not wait for them to push you. They don't have to keep reminding you, did you do that? Did you get that done? First of all, it just shows that you're not reliable and they will drop you so first. Don't forget there's so many people out there who want to have this opportunity. So don't take it for granted. Don't be slow. Make sure you are consistent in communication. 
they really like to see that this is someone who can do things by themselves and they don't have to keep pushing you or reminding you they don't really they don't like that so wheel power to do things on your own and not have to be told do this do that do that like a child so that's it for today and if you watch the last video and then this video and you still feel like mm, it's not really the one still want to relocate but these two options don't favor me don't worry i still have part three coming and maybe that is the right one for you don't forget to like and to subscribe and i will see you in part three of how to move to austria Bye.